Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool fade transition in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, without a doubt, this transition is you know, like the most popular or the most trendy transition, but there'll definitely be times when you're going to want to kind of fade in between two clips. I've definitely seen some animated movies use kind of the fa this fade transition, and if it's more like a more slower paced video, you might just kind of want to kind of fade on to the next scene um, right there. Very simple, very easy. Not the most popular, but there will be definitely times when you're going to want to use um, this transition. So I'm going to go ahead and head over here to the transitions tab um, right here. And if I go to all right here and I type in fade transition or like fade, as you can see, there's a luma fade. I don't want that luma fade. No fade to a color. No 3D luma fade, 3D luma fade. As you can see, there's no fading transition. There's no just like a fade out or fade in transition. So you may be wondering, okay, how in the world do you fade if there's if I search for fade and there's no transition? Well, what you're going to want to search for is a cross dissolve. So as you see right here, as far as I know, this is the best transition when it comes to fading and a lot of people use this transition as well as it's a very, very kind of like a Swiss army knife kind of transition with actually a couple more things you can actually do with this transition. So I'm going to go ahead and play the video right here. So you can see just a video of Patrick Mahomes. And then as you can see right there, there we go. It fades on to the next clip. Just as simple as just called a cross dissolve right there. So you can go ahead and click on it right here. You could change the duration. Here are a whole bunch of different settings. You can go through it and adjust the different settings um, to your liking. And then, you know, adjust the duration. It all just depends on your clip. The fade transitions definitely doesn't work in every single video clip. I find that it works better when it kind of matches the action of the second clip. Um, so not going to guarantee it's going to work in every clip, but you can go ahead and try it out and see if it works in your clip. Another helpful kind of feature for this effect is with audio. So let's say I want to go ahead and I'm going to play the video right here. And let's just say, uh, I'll just go right here. So I'll play the video right here. Now I want for some reason, place a marker right here. I want this audio to muffle. Obviously you're not going to actually hear the audio, but I'm just going to explain what's happening. So if I chop the audio right here and let's say I want to, I'll just go over here and add over here. Oh, actually I need to go down to audio. And I'll just type in a muffle, muffled sound effect. So I want to put a muffled sound effect. And I want to turn the volume down just a little bit right there. So, okay, so you see right here, I just bladed the audio right here just, you know, because I wanted to right there. I turned down the volume and I added a muffled sound effect. Obviously, you can't hear it, but if I played the audio right here, right where that marker is, you would hear like a pop or a click in the audio. So right there, right where the marker is, so if I play it right here, right here you would hear like a pop or like a really annoying click with the audio. Because you didn't fade it or do anything, you just flat out just cut it, turn the volume down to add an effect onto it, the audio is going to pop and click. So if you if you want to do that, you say, well, how in the world do I get rid of that? I want to muffle out a certain part, but every time I do that, the audio clicks. Well, I mean, obviously, you know, you know what I'm going to use, but the cross dissolve. If I go ahead and just apply a cross dissolve right here, I can go ahead and just delete the beginning right there. If I had a cross dissolve in between the two audio tracks right there, right where I cut it, you're not going to hear that pop and click. Obviously, I can't guarantee you're not going to hear the pop and click, but nine times out of ten, this is going to work and it's your best bet. You can try to fade it, but it's probably not going to be as accurate there. So you can see right there, all you want to do is just add a cross dissolve to your audio, especially if you make a cut, if you're going to turn the volume down or add a different effect to the audio, you want to kind of have a cross dissolve just to kind of fade the audio. That way it's not a hard like cut and you don't hear a weird um, pop or click right there. And the same same thing applies to a voiceover. Let's say you you're you're, you're speaking right here. So the same thing right here. You're speaking right here, and then right here you hear a pop or a click. So I'll go ahead and blade it, and then one two, blade it right here, or blade the audio right here. Let's see. Let's say this area right here, you hear like a pop or a click. You could try to just delete the audio right there and then you could just add a cross dissolve. This might not work because it's not counting as a voiceover, but as you see, there we go. 
there we go and then right there if that's where the pop of the click happened you could just add a cross dissolve um, right there so that's a couple different ideas when it comes to this effect you can use as a transition to kind of fade in between two clips but you can also use a cross dissolve to help blend in um, the audio now one thing that I've never tried that you could definitely give it a shot is let's say the music is um, the music is too long so let's say right here the the end of the video is coming up I could try to blade the audio right here go to the end find a similar beat and then delete out this middle part and add the end of the song to here just to help make the song end um, a lot faster obviously don't know if that works I've never actually um, tried it before I've never you know given the, the opportunity to try that but you can go ahead and try that and see if that works I'm not gonna, not gonna guarantee it's gonna work but those are just a whole bunch of different ideas basically at the end of the day a cross is off helps you fade in between two videos as well as it also helps kind of help um, blend audio together so you don't have those annoying pops or clicks so if you ever watch if you're doing editing audio or something like that and you hear a pop or a click just add a cross dissolve and that's going to help fix your problem again not guarantee but nine times out of ten that'll help fix the annoying pop or click in your audio anyways hopefully you found this video helpful and informative if you new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button also Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 210 Final Cut Pro 10 um, tutorials so if you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials definitely go ahead and check out that playlist anyways see you in the next one peace Thank you.